We have need nine months of uh, nine quarters now in a row of year on year progress on, on earnings. We have significantly deleveraged the, 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 the company in the last uh, two, two years. We will leave the the, the year will almost no uh, net uh, net interest bearing debt uh, except for for lease obligations so we have a very strong balance sheet we are making uh, you know very good uh, uh, financial results uh, so so it's it's time for us to look at our capital structure and 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 return uh, some capital to the shareholders um, sorry just to come back to the um, to, to the fundamentals for a moment here um, 2020 saw a lot of sailings cancelled when you look at the program for next year, is it going to look very different? I, I think we have a completely extraordinary situation right now where uh, after we, 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 we had to have a lot of cancellations in the second quarter as demand dropped dramatically. And now it has rebounded in the third quarter much faster than anybody had expected. And that means uh, we've been scrambling really to redeploy uh, our capacity. We now have all our capacity deployed, and and uh, and and you know that that situation will will continue uh, continue for a while. It's not like we expect when you get to 2020 that 2020 will be a year where you know volumes in our market will be significantly above what it were in in, in 2009. So I, we expect to, assuming the vaccine works and and so on, that we will come into a more normal seasonality and be able to handle our customers' uh, uh, requirements uh, well.